What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo's Switch and a place where they possibly got the Switch's inspiration. So there is a big community in, in the Reddit community talking about the possibility that Nintendo may have stolen inspiration from a previously existing piece of technology by a company called Aiken. And it's called the Morphus X300. It's a handheld device that is extremely similar to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, Obi-Wan Plays, a popular Nintendo YouTuber, recently made a video about this device before the Switch was revealed, and he was stating that this could possibly be the Switch. It ended up not being the Switch, but it's virtually the exact same thing as the Switch. The way it looks, the functionality, and everything is pretty much a like-for-like -like comparison. And now there's a community on Reddit who are stating that Nintendo may have taken their inspiration from the Morphus X300. I'll drop a link in the description and make sure you click on the video so you can see the similarities for yourself. Nintendo Switch pretty much the same thing as this device says Reddit. Nintendo Switch may have taken inspiration from China's Aikun Morphus X300 handheld device according to Reddit users. A video uploaded on YouTube last year on October 13th suggests Nintendo rivals Aikun Electronics may have provided the inspiration for the new Switch console. In late 2015, the China-based tech company unleashed the Morphus X300 on consumers. The Morphus is an Android-based handheld device marketed as a 3D gaming tablet. But with its clean, elegant black design and two-sided mounted detachable controllers, some have highlighted striking similarities with the recently launched Nintendo Switch. The similarities, however, go deeper than the generic design. Just like the Morphus X300, the Nintendo Switch includes a built-in HDMI port to link the device to larger screens. The Morphus even features the same glasses-free 3D effects that we've seen with Nintendo's 3DS handheld. One significant difference between Aiken's product and Nintendo's new announcement is the capability to insert cartridges, as Morphus X300 relies on downloading games from the Android Store. But that hasn't stopped Redditors from commenting on the striking similarities. One user said, quote, Wow, this is pretty much the same thing. Wonder if Nintendo bought the IP and just redesigned it for their purposes. Interesting, end quote. Priced at roughly $299, the Morphus X300 may hint at the still unannounced RRP for Nintendo's new console. Nintendo has been reached for comment. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, if I'm going to be totally honest, this is a very, very unique design. No one has ever thought of anything like this. A screen with two detachable controllers on each side. Um, and Nintendo, of course, has come out with the Switch. Anyone who looks at this thing and says that Nintendo didn't draw some form of inspiration from it is probably being a little disingenuous. I don't know exactly when Nintendo started this thing, uh, but they did mention in 2015 that their next gaming console would be announced in 2016. So, so the Morphus was released in 2015. More than likely, they had already went through quality and, and basically had their device out there, which means they, just, they started development and manufacturing way before Nintendo. And Nintendo may have just taken a little bit of that design because it's so innovative. It really, really is very, very innovative to be able to take your controllers off of the screen and be able to play wirelessly and have an HDMI port and all these great things. I think that the uh, Nintendo Switch definitely, in my opinion, took some inspiration from uh, from the Icon Icon Morpheus X300. <laughs> That's how they say it over, in, I guess, in China. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments, though. Look at the video, see the similarities. If you haven't seen it, it's really, really amazing to see just how similar this thing is to the Nintendo Switch. Other than the fact that Nintendo Switch actually uses cartridges, and this thing just basically downloads from Google Play or the Android Store. These things are virtually alike for alike. It's very, very, very compelling. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did Nintendo take inspiration from Icoon? Or did Icoon and Nintendo just have the same magical idea around the same time and it's all uh, just coincidence? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and check out BeastlyGamer.com to stay up to date with me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take off.